Battle of Austerlitz. Napoleon had won a great victory at Ulm. But now he was in a dangerous situation. Because he was 1,000 miles from Paris. It was winter and it was cold. He was surrounded by an enemy nation. His food supplies were diminishing. Because Prussia was threatening to declare war. I am going to declare war on France if Napoleon doesn't go home. And because the Russian and Austrian armies finally united. So, Napoleon was in danger because he was far from home. He was surrounded by an enemy nation. His supplies were diminishing. Prussia would declare war. I am going to declare war on France if Napoleon doesn't go home. The Russian and Austrian armies united. Napoleon was not afraid. I'm not afraid. I won't go back to France now. He would not go back to France. He studied the maps of the area. Then he called his marshals and generals. Marshals, come here. He showed them a spot on the map near the village of Austerlitz. This is going to be a battlefield. This is where the armies of the three emperors met. The Russian Tsar Alexander I was 28 years old. He wanted to destroy Napoleon. However, he was proud and inexperienced. So, he didn't listen to his general Kutuz of Sire, you decide too quickly. I am the Tsar. I know better. The day before the battle was the 2nd of December 1805. This was the anniversary of Napoleon's coronation. In other words, he had become an emperor one year ago, on the 2nd of December 1804. His soldiers were dancing and singing, celebrating the anniversary. <coughs> Napoleon was very happy too. This is the finest evening of my life. Next morning the battle began. Napoleon is on the Pratzen Heights. Militarily, this is an advantageous position. But Napoleon has a plan. If I leave the Prats in Heights, Alexander will think that I'm afraid. Then he will occupy the Heights. Retreat. Napoleon is retreating. He must be afraid. Soldiers, let's go and capture the Prats in Heights. Sire, we should not take the Prats in Heights. I think Napoleon has a plan. Shut up. We will take the heights. Napoleon is afraid. Now Alexander will see my right flank and attack it. The French right flank is weak. We can destroy them. Soldiers, march and destroy the French right flank. Reinforcements. Now Alexander will see the reinforcements and panic. Then he will send more soldiers. Oh my god! They have reinforcements. I must send more soldiers. Soldiers! Go and help your friends. Now the Allied center is weak. It is time for me to attack. March!
We are babies in the hands of a giant. Casualties and losses. 8,245 French soldiers and 16,000 Allied soldiers were killed or wounded. 573 French soldiers were captured by the Allies while 20,000 Allied soldiers were captured by the French. The Allies lost 186 guns. After the Battle of Austerlitz, Emperor Francis of Austria sued for peace. We want peace. So do we.